swanky downtown Portland hotels lure visitors from near and far. But not last year, when travel came to a screeching halt during the pandemic. Occupancies dropped dramatically across the nation. It wasn't just in Portland, it was everywhere. Portland's hotel occupancy stayed low last year, as it did in some other similar sized cities. The historic Benson Hotel laid off most of their employees and closed temporarily this winter. It's hard to cover all of your expenses and be able to stay afloat with the restaurants closed. That made it even all the more difficult. While data shows the coast in southern Oregon really bounced back recently, Portland's story is different. The CEO of Travel Portland, which promotes the city, says it's mostly because people aren't coming for business. Right now we don't have conventions and there's not a lot of business travel. And so that's that is a mainstay for our downtown hotels. But hoteliers say trash, tents, boarded up windows and last summer's unrest stave off visitors. The Benson's George Schweitzer says guests tell him so. It's uh, frightening people away. And that has had a huge impact uh, on our industry. People are of the opinion that Portland's not safe. Travel Portland data shows in February hotels were about 35 percent occupied, doing about half the business they did last year. Central City is taking the biggest hit. Hotels were only around a quarter full, down by more than 60 percent. They have to charge less for rooms, too. Hotels in other parts of the city are faring much better. The east side, Jansen Beach Airport, uh, have a lot more transient demand or those those visitors driving up the I-5 corridor or the 205. The first glimmer of hope, hotel room demand and occupancy slowly ticked up recently. We are in the last two months, however, seeing business come back, uh, even downtown. As more people travel for work and play again, people are booking rooms for summer. We just need to get our occupancy up and you know, get people back to work. Uh, we know that this won't last forever. But to really get tourists back, Schweitzer says elected officials need to do more to clean up the city's streets and reputation. Uh, and we're all hopeful that they'll be successful in uh, really changing the narrative and changing our uh, image. Morgan Romero, KGW News.